For several years I've been seeing stories about hoop houses collapsing in the winter due to heavy snow loads and I think here is something that would be a solution to that problem, certainly a first step towards solving it, which is instead of using a straight coupling at the top of a hoop house, you would use a 90 degree coupling such as this T coupling or just a 90 degree. This is just what I happen to have. But you can see from this that if you used a 90 degree uh, join at the top of your hoop house, you would have much steeper walls that would shed uh, snow loads quite readily. And it's worth remembering that if you go into the Midwest and look at some of the older homes, you will find that they have much steeper walls than some of the current homes. And the reason for that, I think, is that many of those homes were built uh, towards the end of the last cool period, around, you know, the early 1900s and so on and they knew that they needed those sharp roofs in order to shed snow and also think about uh, ski chalets and other parts of the world where they always have heavy snows they typically have steep roofs and here's a way for you to get a steep roof on a hoop house and um, you know this is not going to be a huge amount of effort if you have glued your hoop house together you're going to have to cut you know the beams uh, off from the couplings uh, but that's about it you'll still have most of the space um, looking at this particular structure I think it's possible that you will lose some of the width um, but not very much